Hey guys, today we got back into a Dollar Tree makeup. I am, I mean, look at my face. Look at this makeup. Like 98% of it is Dollar Tree. I did use some other products, but I did that off camera. And of course I let you guys know. I will have the other products that I used linked down below. I don't link the Dollar Tree products just because you can't really link them <laughs> to be honest. Um, and just not every Dollar Tree has them, but I do list them down below so you know what the product is called. Hopefully that helps you guys out. I am super happy with how this look turned out. I am just so ready to get into it and show you guys how I did it. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to revisit the LA Colors Mad For You eyeshadow palette. I did like a soft glam kind of look with it, but I want to focus more on this deep brown shade and do more of like a smoky eye with it. Something really dramatic since we have those dramatic lashes to go into that I didn't go into last time. And I actually got a Wet n Wild blending brush as well from the Dollar Tree, so we're going to use that today. My eyelids are already primed with the Angel Eyes primer just because I know how it works. I'm going to go into the deep brown shade. I think I'm going to do like a halo eye today. The brush is a little bit bigger than I personally like, but I think it would be great for overall blending. Not exactly the purpose that I'm using it for, it's just a little too big. So I am going to switch to a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M506. I feel like I'm just always grabbing this brush when I need to do the small blending. Ooh, yeah, and it's picking up that pigment. Look at that difference. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild brush again since it is bigger and can give me more of that blend. And I'm just putting it in the color switch. If you don't have one of these, they are a game changer. You can also get them at the Dollar Tree. It's basically just a sponge and in between colors you wipe your brush and it takes off the pigment so you can go into another shade. We're going to go into the lighter brown here and I just want to diffuse these edges a little bit more. I'm not worried about the center here because this is going to be a halo eye so we're going to put more shimmers there. I'm going to take this LA Colors liquid eyeshadow. This is in the shade Mystical and it's a little more pinky than I want for this look, but it's okay. I just want something. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I just want something to lay down like a base. I do have short nails this time, so we can use my fingers. If you guys can see when I was tapping, it's taking some of the product off. I'm gonna try it with a brush. Seems like the brush is going to be the best for these liquid eyeshadows. We actually might keep the pink. That's really pretty. Let's go ahead and set it with a powder. I'm going to go in with the more champagne powdered eyeshadow. And I'm just going to take the same brush. Let's set this so it doesn't crease and take even more pigment off. There's still a shadow missing. Hmm. There is still some shadow missing. I'm going to fix all that off camera. I'll probably just add some more liquid eyeshadow and then set it again with the powder. See if I can fill in those gaps. And then I'm also going to bring the brown in a little bit more and blend. I'm going to go in with these eyelashes. These are so dramatic. When I had put them on my eye last time, they like reached my eyebrow. We're going to put those on. These lashes are so intense and I also brought the eyeshadow like way up because I you couldn't see it anymore if we weren't testing these out I definitely would have switched them out my eyebrows are just I'm having a bad eyebrow day as well my eyebrows just kind of got out of hand but it's okay usually you know you gotta trust the process and just keep going so that's exactly what we're gonna do let's start on my foundation I did already go in with primer I did that before the eyes so that way they had time to set into my skin I went in with the power grip primer from elf and then the also by elf the liquid poreless putty primer I'm gonna go in with the same foundation combo that I used last time both be pure products it's the essentially ageless hydrating serum foundation and the hydrating under eye concealer so I'm gonna use both of those I think I had said that the foundation was supposed to be porcelain or fair but it was actually light to medium i don't think it would be a medium it's definitely a light 
I mean, my face isn't even self-tanned and it's matching pretty well. <laughs> Speaking of self-tan, oh my god, please ignore the hot mess that I am going through right now. My neck is so splotchy. I really like this foundation, especially for just like quick errands or just, you know, you want to make yourself up, but you don't want to be like full on glam. I guess we are doing full on glam today, huh? This is just with the foundation on. Honestly, I am not mad at this coverage at all. I think it looks really nice, um, but since I am trying to go for like the full glam, vibe today i am gonna mix that concealer in with it again the concealer is what gives me more coverage and it's gonna make the color match a little bit more every time this foundation is just so good the foundation and uh, concealer coverage i just i don't know if you could keep building it because i do want some more coverage throughout here so let's test that out today since i want to go full glam i don't know if this is just me but when i'm full glam I want my skin to be completely full coverage. Looks like it is pretty buildable, so that's good. And I don't feel heavy at all. I usually need more coverage on my cheeks anyways. That's where more of my pigmentation is. We're going to use that same bronzer we used last time, the Cream Gel Bronzer by LA Colors. And this is in the shade Sunflower. I just want to be careful. I'm not the biggest fan of squeezy tubes. I feel like they always just pour out. Now with this, it does not dry down fast, so you have plenty of time to spread it out. So if you take too much, you can definitely spread it out in your face and you don't have to worry about it drying too quick. We are going to go in with powder bronzer, so I don't need to do this too intensely because we'll get more pigment with the powder bronzer. Before I forget, I actually want to go in with highlight. I think I'm going to use the gel highlighter on one side and then these liquid highlighters on the other just so we can test or maybe I can even put one on my nose just because I can't decide and I want to do my highlight before my blush just in case it's too intense we can kind of cover it with the blush. I'm going to go in with the cream gel one first and... I guess just use my fingers. One thing I have noticed with this packaging is it does start to spill out. I haven't pressed it at all. That was just me taking the cap off and it's already starting to ooze out. See, I just took it off again and it's coming out. Well, that's the one thing I've noticed about these squeezy tubes. They can be pretty messy. Like I have highlight all over my fingers now. That's kind of a waste of a product. So I'm glad it's only $1.25, you know? Let's use my finger. That's actually really pretty, not glittery at all, and it's not taking off my makeup when I'm tapping. Let's try the liquid. What is this? Two Cheeky LA Colors Highlight. This is in the shade Enchanted. This is the deeper one of the two that I have. Let's do the same thing, finger. The cream gel one is definitely giving me that kind of like, I look sweaty and wet looking, and this still gave me the effect, but I'm not looking as... Can you guys tell the difference? I just look greasy on this side. So off first impression, I'm definitely liking the liquid one more. I'm gonna go in with the lighter one. This is in the shade Outshine. This is more of like your white highlight. That's really pretty. If you like more subtle where you want like the glow within, I think you'll really like these. They're not glittery at all. These two are the liquid highlights. This is Outshine, this is Enchanted, and then this is the cream gel one. I feel like I look really greasy right here and that's from the cream gel highlighter side, so I don't like that at all. Let's go into the hardest part for me because I just love blush so much, I can't choose. I have three cream gel ones and then I have the Ioni one that I still really wanna try. I think we're gonna do one on each side again and then just try to make it match at the end. The hard part is gonna be choosing colors on here. Let me go ahead and swatch them for you guys. Great swatcher. On this top here we have Rose Garden, which it is not matching the package at all. In the middle we have Tulips and then this third one is Orchid. So they definitely don't match the tubes at all. And the only one that didn't do that messy like pouring out was Orchid. So I don't know if it happens with all of them, but the other two, like instant, it was just everywhere and so messy. So definitely keep that in mind that as soon as you get your product, you need to put that cap on. Let's go ahead and start with the Ioni liquid blush first. I'm going to start with one little dot because when I had swatched it in my video, it was super pigmented. More. It is definitely pigmented though, but I want more. 
it's actually not looking as orange when you blend it out. It's kind of giving like a rosy color, rosy hot pink almost. Okay, yeah, this color is actually really beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared of it. <laughs> it looked like neon orange. I rubbed my swatches off already, but I think Tulips was the one that matched this the best. Let's go ahead and try it on this side. Damn, I'm good. These are pretty much the same shade. I need more. I want to clean up a little bit before we go in with the powdered product. So I'm just taking some of that concealer. I talked about this powder in my last video. We're going to use it again. This time I want to try it on a little powder puff. I am so dry and it is not clinging to anything. It literally just brightened and completely smoothed everything out. I feel like I've tried so many powders that will not do that. I'm gonna take some under here as well. We'll probably revisit this area later after I do my bronzer. I always am going like back and forth and cleaning stuff up. I'm always making you guys stare at my crusty lips, sorry. This is just the Roll-On Gloss by LA Colors. The, I have two of these and the roller doesn't really work on the other one. So I don't know. It's It doesn't do anything revolutionary anyways. I won't pick up another one. I just use it because I have it. Let's get back into bronzer to kind of set the rest of my makeup. Now I used the LA Colors bronzer in Bronze Beauty last video and I want to go into this Essentially Ageless by Be Pure. This is actually a pressed powder. I believe it was in... Ooh, I have no idea what shade this was in. I'll probably have to leave it on the screen, but I wanna to try to use this as a bronzer today just to see how it goes. Okay, it's giving us some color. Probably gonna to have to go pretty heavy handed on this because it's not intended to be a bronzer. It's supposed to be a pressed powder for people of this skin tone, but I thought I would use it as a bronzer. Ooh, I like that it's cool toned though. So if the bronzed beauty one, this LA Colors one is too like orangey or deep for you, you might really enjoy this because I mean, it's still clearly bronzing up my skin. Oh yeah, that's actually really pretty. I'll do my nose contour off camera just because it takes me forever. <laughs> Again, we have two blushes. I did try this formula in my last one. I tried the shade of Bloom. So we're gonna do this on one side and then we'll do the Be Pure one on the other. We're gonna go in with Gazing first. And this is matching the blush that we already have on pretty much. It's not building right there. And that's where I had the highlighter. So I, what the hell is that? <laughs> so I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Hello, can I get myself together? But still beautiful. I mean, just look at that shade. Ugh, gotta use a different brush. So I'm going in with this one. This is a little more dense though. So it's probably gonna put down pigment a lot stronger. Yeah. Ooh. But this shade is beautiful too. It's like that nice bright pink. Ooh, I can't decide which one I like more. Okay, let's just make the cheeks match. About to be really blushed out right now. I feel like I'm st I should have probably set my whole face before I went in with the blush, but I wanted to use these products kind of as a setting powder, if that makes sense. I didn't want to like put too much powder on my skin. But I think I should have set because I can tell that my skin is looking a little dewy right here and like greasy, probably from that highlight and just all the liquid products. So that was my bad, but I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Did like a little ombre effect. We have this one in the back and then poppy pink in the front. Very blushed out right now, but I'm not complaining. A little refresher. I'm gonna go in with the Finishing Glow Spray. I switched the cap because it wasn't squirting well. So it actually comes with a blue cap but you're probably gonna have to switch the cap if you don't want it like squirting all on your face. Okay, let's finish up these under eyes. Going back into the palette, of course. I'm gonna take the deepest brown shade and we're gonna basically do the same thing. I'm 
and I want something like really intense. So I'm making sure to leave that gap in the middle there. That's where we're going to put our shimmer, smoking it out with the light brown. I don't know if I ever said what I thought about this, but it's really not my favorite. I would rather find another the good eyeshadow. I just feel like as soon as you put it down and try to blend it, it goes away or it gets picked up. And I had to go back and forth several times with it. So you guys kind of get the vibe. I don't want to, you know, have you guys sitting here all day. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And then I'm going to put mascara on and we'll be right back to finish up. I am living for this look, you guys. At the beginning, I was so close to just scrapping it all. I was like, this looks a hot mess. But you really just have to trust the process. Especially when you do your eyes first. I feel like when you just have really dramatic eyeshadow on and you're just like, oh god, you can't see the vision. But I am just loving how this came together now I did want to do some little highlight points with you guys using the shimmer right over here we're gonna use a dry brush just to see but let's add some little highlight on a dry brush this is super intense still I'm still really impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I mean, $1.25, and they have way more color stories. I feel like if you just got all the color stories, you would be set and not spending too much money. I don't have any lip products to show you guys. I wasn't really impressed with the Dollar Tree lip products anyways, so I don't think those are going to be something that I repurchase often. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips off camera. Nothing intense because I want the focus to be on the eyes. We'll probably just do like a nude lip. For the lips, I mentioned this in my last video as well well it's these knobby uh lip liners this is in the shade mauve i've had these lip liners for years now it was like 20 bucks for a set of 50. i did find them on amazon when i mentioned them in my last video i was like oh i hope i can link them i did find them so they're still available they come in other packs too so if you don't want like 50 lip liners they do have smaller packs and like a variety 100 recommend these they are pencil they're sharpenable they're creamy not too creamy to where they're gonna glide everywhere and they're not too dry to where they're gonna tug at your skin and then I did go in with this Tiasin. I'm not sure how to pronounce it I got this off Temu this is just like another mauve shade it's like a uh, creamy chubby stick really comfortable on the lips and I think that that combo was just perfect together oh and then I did go in with highlight as well I didn't use a Dollar Tree product I use this Ace Beauté Essentials highlight palette and I went in with the pink shade Radiant and Gleaming. I mixed those together for my cheeks and then I did go in with Icy with a little bit of the Radiant shade for my nose because I just I need nose highlight if anything I have to finish off my makeup with nose highlight and yeah I think I caught you guys all up to speed. I'm trying to think back if there was a product that I really didn't like and I don't think there was. Really the only negative and it's not even the product it's more of the packaging. These cream gel blushes and the uh, highlight the way that they kept spilling out. The liquid eyeshadow is okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase if I found another color. The highlight, I think this just left my skin way too greasy and I just, yeah, it just wasn't it for me. I'm definitely gonna keep doing Dollar Tree content. So if that's your thing, make sure you guys subscribe because I am not on a regular uploading schedule. I know that's kind of annoying, but I, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I do have a full-time job and I do share this room with my boyfriend. I hope you guys love this look i would love to know your opinions down below i'd also love to know what your favorite dollar tree products are like what i should be on the hunt for or if you're going to be picking up any of this stuff i'd love to know let's chat down below in the comment section but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one bye